so there are so many ways of doing rows but uh, we will be seeing one basic and easy one to start with I'm using 3 by 4 four cut brush and you can use any choice of color as I always say I am taking here yellow and school bus yellow and red I am loading my brush with yellow and red those who are new they can go and check my other videos in which I talked everything about the materials and picking up the color on your brush and loading the brush and we have also seen many basic strokes so you can go and the other videos and come back here so it will you will get a better understanding so I have loaded my brush with yellow and um, red I'll keep my brush first we are not painting the rows right away I will first uh, teaching you two things that you need to run learn in order to make a perfect rose the first one is the bud for the bud you make this kind of stroke you see this way just concentrate on tip of your brush on the yellow side and you are making a arc with the yellow forget about the red side the other half of your brush and just concentrate on the top half of your brush this way I'm making a arc and then my yellow will be right on the yellow and red right on the red here we are making a U U you see I'll take more yellow and I'll make the U. You see, this is the bud. If you feel like it's not much visible, you can take pick a little bit of white and make this U. You see, you can see the 3D bud here. Take little bit of white on the tip. Wherever you feel like your layers are not visible, you can take little bit of white. Not only here, but even in the other flowers. So this is the um, bud stroke. One more time, I'll show you. We make buds in so many flowers, not only in rows. So this way, I loaded my brush. I'm making a arc this way if you want a fatter uh, bud then you can make a big one if you want a thinner one you can make a thin one that's up to you and now a u and you merge it here you see you get the again i'll take pick up little bit of white on the tip of my brush and i'll come down and do the same thing so this way you make the bud okay another thing that you need to learn for making your um, rose is C stroke or they even call it, uh, call it as comma stroke that's this way and from this side you make it this way see it comes with the practice you are pulling only the top part of your brush so that this comes as a thin ending here also you are pulling the top part of your brush and you get the thin ending this is called as the uh, comma stroke or C stroke so now after doing this I think we will move to the flower make one flower here 
rows. This is a very simple kind of, there are so many ways of making rows. We will be seeing all the rows turn by turn. But this is the basic one. I make the but here. PU. This is up to you how thick or thin you want your bud to be. Now, starting from this part side, I am taking a shell stroke. This is not nothing new but a shell stroke and we are finishing it. Again, I take yellow and red, load your brush and starting from this side keep this brush parallel to this bud and you do a shell stroke with a very light hand so you see you got two petals there now I'll just continue and I'll make two more now two more or three more it's up to you it depends on the size of your bud and the space you have here so there is no hard and fast rule to be followed this is a decorative painting and flowers come in different shapes sizes and uh, colors so you don't have to worry about the colors and the uh, what you call petals the number of petals never keep them uh, count of them or try to imitate some um, picture or some video because if you leave your mind free and paint you will get a better outcome only thing that you need to remember is the stroke okay now we will be doing a c stroke here you see we learned the c stroke right the same C stroke, keeping it parallel, I am doing the C stroke, pull. So you practice the C stroke well and come, the, come and do this because bud is easy. Teardrop uh, this shell stroke we have already practiced. Something, uh, the stroke that is tricky here is this C stroke. So practice that and then you come there will be no new thing in this flower left you can quickly paint the flower you just need to practice the C stroke well one more on painting if you want you can change your brush and take a smaller brush for this smaller stroke you see two more I have added this is called as layering you have you are uh, adding more layers to your petals to make it look more um, realistic here i will be adding see one more layer and this side also i'll add one more layer so this is the simple uh, rose very simple one just practice this putting things together then we will go for many other types of roses and uh, okay i'll just show you how to make a thinner um, what do you call this is a thin bud you see See, comparatively, that one was quite flat, and well, this is thin. So, one more time, I'll show you and make few um, petals using the shell stroke. I'll add petals down. This way. Then I will take this C stroke with the tip of my brush this way. And you see, you got a smaller flower with the thin bud in between. Why I showed this? Because it's much easier to make bigger petals in the beginning. 
because for the smaller pe uh, petal you must keep your brush much straighter and have more control over over your brush to make this tiny strokes so make a flat one and make the um, petal okay and we will add leaves here i'll keep yellow and pink see looks beautiful playing with the color in one stroke painting it's like it gives you a, a new look a new learning every time you do this and it's very fun I'll make one more leaf here that's it so what we did we made a bad this way and this way we made these C strokes this way and this way and finally we made our flower if you have any doubt you can always comment I'm there to help you and keep practicing don't leave the hope unless and until you practice practice and practice you cannot achieve anything so thanks for watching i'll be back with another video very soon till then practice and do subscribe to my videos